video, I'm going to show you how to solve linear equations. So when I say solve equations, I just mean working out the value of the unknown letter. So in the first one, we're going to be working out x. So to work out the value of the unknown letter, well, you might be able to guess on the first one and just work out through guesswork what this number is, but that method won't help you all the time. So we need a method that's going to work for every solving equation question. So what we need to do is undo everything that's surrounding x until x is by itself. So in order to do that, we need to do opposites. So the opposite of adding is subtracting, the opposite of multiplying is dividing, and the opposite of squaring is square rooting, and so on. So here, I need to do the opposite of adding 4. So I'm going to subtract 4. But I can't just subtract 4 on the left-hand side. I have to do the same on the right-hand side of the equals to keep the equation balanced. So on the left-hand side, 4 take away 4, well, that's just 0. So you'll find whenever you do the opposite, it always cancels. And so on the right-hand side, we have to calculate so 22 take away 4, well that's 18. So I've got that 3x left over here. On the right hand side I now have 18. x is currently being multiplied by 3. So remember the opposite of multiply is divide, so I need to divide by 3. And remember to do the same thing on both sides of the equation. So where we do the opposite, that cancels, because 3 divided by 3 is just 1. So I'm left with 1x. And on the right-hand side, 18 divided by 3 is 6. So we've solved our first equation. Just something I want to point out, because some people try and divide by 3 first. Always leave whatever's closest to the letter until the end. So work your way from the outside in. So get rid of this number before this one, okay? Now, on to number two. So here's our unknown. We have to work out the value of y. So I need to get rid of the minus three. So the opposite of minus is plus. So I'm going to add three. And remember to do the same on the left-hand side of the equals as well. On the right-hand side, it cancels because that's where we're doing the opposite. That just goes to zero. And on the left-hand side, 13 plus three, is 16. And over here I've still got my 4y. Now y is being multiplied by 4. Remember the opposite of multiply is divide. So I need to divide by 4 remembering to do the same on the left hand side of the equals as well. So here where I do the opposite, 4 divided by 4 is 1 so that's gone and I'm left with y. And on the left hand side 16 divided by 4 is 4. So there we go. Now, onto this bottom one, I need to get rid of this 5, although it's a little bit confusing because there's a minus here, but we need to look at the sign of that 5, and it's a positive 5, although I know we don't write that plus sign, you need to remember that that exists, okay, this is positive 5. So the opposite of positive 5 is negative, so we're subtracting 5 on both sides of the equation. So here, they go to 0, so I'm left with negative 2x. And on the right hand side, negative 5 take away negative 5, or just take away 5, is negative 10. And then I do the opposite here. Well, x is being multiplied by negative 2, so the reverse is to divide by negative 2. So remember, it cancels here where we do the opposite. And on the right hand side, negative 10 divided by negative 2 is positive 5. Okay, so I'm going to change them up a bit and make them look a bit different. Okay, so in these next two examples, I'm going to continue doing the same thing and I'm going to undo everything that's happening around the unknown until I found the value of the letter. So in this one, I need to get rid of this big fraction. Remember when you see this line, this means divide by 2. And the opposite of dividing is multiplying. So in this one, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So remember, wherever you do the opposite, it cancels. So you're just left with 3x plus 1. And on the right-hand side, you have to calculate. So 10 multiplied by 2 is 20. And now it's just looking like one of those questions I did earlier. So I have to subtract 1 on both sides of the equation. Here it cancels and I'm left with 3x. 
on the right hand side 20 take away, uh, take away 1 is 19 and then I need to divide both sides by 3. So there it cancels and so this one I can't divide 19 by 3 so I'm just going to leave that as a fraction or maybe you'll be asked to write your final answer as a mixed number in which case you would need to say how many 3's fit into 19? 6 what's left over, one, and then the denominator stays the same. But if it doesn't ask for a mixed number, then you can just leave it like this, because this is a simplified fraction, we can't simplify it. So, in actual fact, it was very similar to the questions from before. It was just the first step, in order to get rid of that big fraction, you had to multiply by two. Now, in number five, it's a little bit different, because we have a fraction and a number. Well, there's more than one way of doing this question. Lots of people multiply by 4, and they multiply by 4 here, but they forget to multiply by 4 here. So I would probably start by adding 2 on this one instead. So like I said before, always leave whatever's closest to the letter until the end. So leave these parts, these parts here together and get rid of this first. So here I'm doing the opposite and so I'm going to cross that out, and I'm left with x over 4. On the right hand side, I need to calculate this, so that gives me negative 6. And now, the opposite of dividing by 4 is to multiply by 4. Remember to do always the same thing on both sides of the equation. Here, where you do the opposite, it just cancels, so I'm left with x. And on the right hand side, I must calculate this, so negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. Okay, so I've got one more challenge question to finish. Okay, so in this last example, we've now got brackets to deal with. So remember when you see brackets, it means multiply. So here, we're multiplying the brackets with 3. So you could think, okay, I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by 3. So that will cancel here. But when I look over here, this number isn't divisible by 3. So I'm going to forget that idea. And I'm going to multiply the brackets. So let's do that first. So 3 multiplied by x is 3x and 3 multiplied by negative 7 is negative 21 and the 25 hasn't moved. So now it's just like the examples from the beginning of the video and we need to undo everything around x. So the opposite of subtracting 21 is to add 21. Remember to do the same thing to both sides. The left hand side cancels because we get 0 here. And on the right hand side, if I add those together, I get 46. So the final step, at the moment x is being multiplied by 3, I have to do the opposite and I divide by 3. So divide both sides of the equation by 3, on the left hand side we're left with 1x, and on the right hand side I'm left with 46 over 3, and I can't simplify that fraction, so I'm just going to leave it like that. So there's my first video on solving linear equations. I will have another one coming up soon where you've got unknowns on both sides of the equal sign. So look out for that one. And so that's it for today. Bye-bye.